ladies and gentlemen, on the count of three, I want you to tell me who you think is going to win this race. Ready? One, two, three. A great natural talent to begin with, and he's a throwback to an earlier generation. Kennedy, are you ready? To see Tony pull up that night was that was a big deal. It's time to get it on. Why he was there that night racing for fifteen hundred dollars? I do know how aggressive he is. As Stewart has Kevin Ward Jr. right there in front of him now. Tony is a guy who if he doesn't like how you shoved him around on the racetrack. When he gets out of the car, he's gonna get this straight right now. Oh, and we've got Ward into the wall. And this is at the Canandaigua Motorsports Park. Say the crash was like a scene from a horror movie. Something that I'll never forget is Kevin going through the air, limp. Had you ever done an investigation of any sort of race car or crash? Well, I know I've not. Can you think of a good reason why Mr. Stewart would have applied throttle right before the impact with Mr. Ward? No. The beauty of solving this project with videogrammetry is that we get to change our perspective. And our son is gone. We're never going to see our son again. Tony has not been held accountable for that at all. Kevin Ward never stepped beyond the path of those six vehicles. It isn't until Tony Stewart comes by you see all these six paths. Tony Stewart makes a diagonal line straight through those other paths in the direction of Kevin Ward. We don't want 10 cents of Tony Stewart's money. We just wanted answers to what happened. That's the beauty of physics, right? You can break the laws of man, but you can't break the laws of physics. You agree that's a terrible idea, right? I, it's, I've been around sprint car racing a long time. It's part of the sport.